Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you the process of making this little mixed media canvas that I created. And I started with just a little uh, wood board. Uh, I like to do my mixed media on these little wooden boards. They just hold up so well. So I am actually using some old hymnal paper that I got from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy, and you will find a link to her shop below. So I took the hymnal paper and I just tore it into strips and I am using uh, Mod Podge to decoupage the strips onto this wooden base. I did go ahead and paint the wood, the wood base uh, with some white paint, even though it really doesn't matter, but I, I tend to do that all the time. I'm gonna cover it up, so I don't know why I bother painting it, but I do, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> So I'm just trying to get um, all the pages on where I want it and then I will let it dry before I go on to the next step. So now that's all dry, I thought I would add some um, texture with one of my script stencils and I'm using my palette knife to uh, put on some modeling paste uh, through the stencil and I just love the effect that it gives um, and the texture to the background. Right now that that's all dry, I am gonna paint some, I'm gonna put some white paint on top of this because I want this to be like a shades of white uh, canvas, white and silver. But I'm also adding water and brushing some of that paint off because I do want you to still be able to see the uh, music paper underneath the paint. So I end up using a, uh, a wet wipe to wipe back some of that paint so that you can still see the music paper behind it. So now I am just going to spray on some shimmer mist because I like to have a little shimmer on all of my projects. And I like to put it in a box lid when I do that or I will spray everything on my desk. So yeah. I sprayed it in the little box top and now I'm just using my heat tool to dry it. All right, so now I am going to layer up some hearts. So I'm gonna start with this wooden heart that I got at Hobby Lobby and I did paint the top of it white and I am just using some uh, wet glue to adhere it to the canvas. And then these, oh, these are so pretty. I got these from Renee Bouquet. They're just gorgeous. And I've actually had them, I think, for two years. I've just been hoarding them, but I decided this was the perfect project for them. So I painted uh, them white also. They do come in white, but um, I went ahead and gave them a coat of white anyway. And here's another wooden heart that I got from Hobby Lobby. On top of that, I really want to build this up. And then I have one more of the uh, Rune Rene Bouquet hearts, they're just gorgeous. So that is gonna go on top of that. And then I have this real dimensional heart frame that I don't remember where I got it. I, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I'm not sure. And I gave it a coat of white also, and that is gonna go right on top. And I just love uh, how built up this heart is coming out of the canvas. I just love it. Super cute. So now I'm gonna add some rhinestone cup chain because I always add rhinestone cup chain. <laughs> I love the stuff. And of course you can get that at Angel Dream Crafts. 
um, on Etsy and I'm gonna put it all the way around this heart and I am going to adhere it down with glossy accents. That's my favorite thing to use to put down rhinestone cup chain because it has that fine tip nozzle. Even though it's always getting clogged <laughs> and I have to keep unclogging the thing, it's still my favorite. It holds it so well and it has that fine tip. All right, so I want there to be more sparkle um, inside of that heart frame behind the angel that I'm gonna put on here. So I am gonna use some stickles, or this actually might even be a generic glitter glue type thing that I am just gonna squeeze into the middle and use my paintbrush to spread it all around so there is a nice bit of sparkle um, behind the angel. All right, so now I'm gonna add the final embellishments. I had these really pretty metal corners in my stash and I decided I wanted to use them. I thought they'd look really nice around this little uh, canvas. And so I'm using uh, E6000 to adhere down uh, the metal bits because that glue is amazing and it holds things down really well. So when I have heavier metal things, I always use my E6000. So I am going to glue down the metal corners to each corner and then I'm going to use the E6000 also to uh, put the angel on the top of the heart. but it still needs more bling, as does everything that I make. So I am gonna add some rhinestone cup chain uh, to the edges of the to frame the heart. I think that is just gonna be so pretty. I really did enjoy creating this. I'm actually gifting it to a friend and I hope that she loves it. And you can find a link below to Angel Dream Crafts and to all the other ladies on the design team. Please go over and check them out. And um, thanks for watching everybody. And I will see you all on the next one. I did tack a couple pictures at the end of this video. If you'd like to see the finished product. Bye everybody.